All right, we are on the play in match two of this league with Rug Delver. Um, it's aggressive. It's very aggressive. You know what? We can probably block the aggro decks. Let's do it. Don't think we're going to have a fun time against combo, but aggro might be okay. And if it's mid-ranger control, wow. Let's start off with a Delver. I think Goyf is going to be the two drop we play first. Well, that actually depends on whether or not they kill this. If Delver dies, we can put creature plus land in the graveyard. Urza's mine. Okay. Well, we have the threats. So step one, Serum Visions. Oh, yes. Does that mean we go Delver plus Visions? Or do we go PZ or do we go Goyf? I don't think Green Red Tron has been a big thing for a long time. So I kind of want to slam Goyf here. Hmm. Well, we're going to attack. Maybe it's just Delver plus Visions. You know what? Delver plus Visions is probably better. Let's grab a Breeding Pool. Uh, before we play that, we should do this. Looting and Visions. Oh, we bottom the Visions. We're going to draw the looting. And then we're going to dump some of these threats and find some interaction. We got this, guys. This is going to be great. Is it going to be great? I sure hope it's going to be great. Might be really bad. Knock on wood. I shouldn't have said that. Now we're going to lose. Ah, eh, well. You know. It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, let's see. Do they want to? Yep, they're holding up map. You got it. Let's show off our shiny faithless lootings. Uh, let's do this pre-combat. We're going to keep the visions. We're going to dump probably PZ because at this point it's going to be beyond slow. And one of the mandrills. I actually kind of just want to play out Delver. Quite frankly, just... More threats. We'll see if we make it. A lot of creatures. How many creatures did we... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We started with 5 and we found 2 more. That's got to be a statistical anomaly for this deck. I know we're running 14 threats plus Snapcaster Mage, but come on. That's a lot. Maybe I should have gone Visions... Try to find a counter spell for next turn. Fortunately, they're only going to have seven mana next turn. I say only, but, you know, there's the power plant. Let's get rid of that. That means it could be a Karn. It could be a Worm Coil. They're leaving the one. It's Ballista. Oh, my lord. Oh, that's okay. These have two toughness. Whew. That made me sweat. That made me sweat. I was thinking they all had one toughness. Bolt. Cool. That doesn't help us right now. We're going to swing. I assume one of these is going to die. Yep. Makes me wish I had Simic Charm in my hand right now. They'd take nine. That'd be fantastic. Now I think we're going to go Mandrills. Plus Visions. I think that's our best bet. We could slam Goyf, but if we play Mandrills, we also get Visions. It also protects us from Ugin just a little bit. Not much, but, you know, just, just a touch. Getting to cast Visions is also something I like. Stubborn Denial, I want that. Oh, how I want that. We already have Mana Leak. I think we're going to take the land. Oh, that's rough. Can I have both of these? I really just want both of these. Third land. Then we could go Goyf, hold up Denial. And then we're not so scared. Oh, maybe we actually bought them both. I definitely... Do I definitely want the third land? It makes Snapcaster Mage a whole lot better. I'm trying to figure out how we can finish them off. 
This is right about when they should be resolving Ugins and Karns and just all kinds of haymakers that make all of our threats useless because none of them have haste, and therefore they all die to Planeswalker abilities. I think we're gonna take the land. Yeah, we'll bottom, but we'll top both. I want the land first, though. Let's play Mandrills. They might have O Stone. They might not. We're hoping for the might not side of things. Send it back to the opponent. O Stone, Ugin. Both cards I don't want to see. 10 mana. Just a worm coil. Just being in quotation marks there. Okay. That's enough of you, Walking Ballista. Walking Ballista, really good for Tron. All right. Now we can, uh... We can, tra we can trade Mandrills plus Bolt for this Worm Coil. I think we're going to play out Goyf and just not hold up Mana Leak. What are we playing to if we hold up Mana Leak here? Sure, we could counter their Ulamog after the trigger resolves and just decimates us. Or we could counter their Ugin while they start clocking in with Worm Coil. Really, I think we are in fact dead. Maybe that was a really loose keep. We're going to take that. They're going to gain a bunch of life. What do we got, opponent? Ugin? Karn. Really wish this was the Stubborn Denial and the Mana Leak was on top of the deck right now. So we could kill Karn. I think we're just beyond dead. Stubborn Denial, definitely not something we want. You know what? Running Vapor Snags. Let's go. Stomping Ground. Am I going to pay Shock? If we do, we're going to die to this. Is the mana going to matter? Probably not. Okay. Running Vapor Snag. None of these are Vapor Snag. Alright. I think we're going to scoop. But first, we're going to kill Karn. Back to you, opponent. I don't think that Karn deserves to live. They can have the win. They can take the game, but that Karn is definitely not sticking around. What do we got? Ulamog, joke's on you. You can't touch my board. Oh, actually, this is going to be great. We get to counter the Ulamog, and they're not going to touch our board because we're... Oh, we had eight. I had hit eight, and it knew we didn't have any plays. They got to mess with our board. That's sad. Okay, that's fine. Uh, are they going to know we have Lightning Bolt? Almost certainly. Let's hit them for four. Yeah, joke's on you, opponent. We lose on our own terms. How are we boarding against Tron? Let's see what the spreadsheet says for this. I believe we have a lot of tools. Grudge and Revelry for the Worm Coil Engines and the Oblivion Stones of the World. I'm a little iffy on using Artifact Hate on Worm Coil Engine now that we have these Vapor Snags, but I do believe I'm boarding out at least one. It looks like two. Maybe you don't want to do that. Ceremonious Rejection is great. Maybe you want just two... Vapor Snags, and you hope to bounce the Worm Coil more often than kill it. Because I did want running Vapor Snags there. And Spreading Seas. Let's see if we can keep Tron offline long enough for us to squeeze a win out here. What are we taking out? Traverse can go. I know it's not going to be like that every game, but we didn't exactly have a want for threats there. Forked Bolt, one Lightning Bolt... So, fun fact, I do not know how you're supposed to sideboard with this deck. This is basically how I normally sideboard. We're going to cut Spell Snare. Where is it? Right there. And where's that last card? A Stubborn Denial. Also, I apparently missed something. Do I really want to cut a Leak in Denial, not Snare? Yes, Snare. Definitely Snare. Oh, I... Somehow I ended up on the Affinity side. Okay. Is uh, everything here? Traverse, Forked Bolt, Lightning Bolt, 
to Snag's Dismember. That's the one I forgot. And then Spell Snare Mana Leak. I was going to say, Stubborn Denial is really good against Tron, isn't it? There we go. 8 for 8. So this is how I would sideboard if I didn't have Faithless Looting in the deck. It's also how we're going to sideboard because I don't know a better way. However, I'm cutting Vapor Snag because sometimes it's dead. Sometimes you want it, as in that previous game. Although, running Vapor Snags is pretty loose, but it was our out. Spell Snare, most of the time very bad against Tron, sometimes good. Mana Leak, good at the early stages, bad eventually. Dismember's almost always bad unless you hit a World Breaker, trample over a little bit, and you absolutely needed that exact scenario. Lightning Bolts and Forked Bolts, really good when you're trying to finish off a Planeswalker or their face, really bad the rest of the time. We have Faithless Looting. All of these cards, technically, are just fine. If I have Lightning Bolts, we can pitch them to Faithless Looting. If we draw them late, fantastic. Same thing with Vapor Snag when it's bad, Snare, Leak, Dismember. However, I think you definitely have- you still want to board in the better cards. So I'm thinking we're basically hedging here. I think that's a mulligan. We can loot and try to find some lands, or we can play Delver and hope we draw land, but I think we just want to start off strong. That's a bit better. It still doesn't make me even close to happy. We're going to keep, though. Faithless looting on top. I actually kind of like that. So anyways, I think the way we're sideboarding with this list is mostly just kind of hedging, so that it's like... These cards are sometimes good, but they're also sometimes bad, and we're not always going to have looting or an opportunity to use it, or the time to use it. Relic, so you're saying I should slam PZ, but they might have a walking ballista. It really is a hard knocks life, isn't it? Really is. I guess Goyf dies to ballista just the same. I don't know which two drop to play. Which two drop do we play? I think I want to play out the PZ and make them have it, so let's do that. Do I need a second green source? Probably not. Let's get a basic mountain here. Right now, Goyf would have one power. PZ has two, so I think I prefer that. Spatial contortion, that's fine. They both died of that anyways. We're going to exile probably the creature. Another land. Okay. That's something for looting. Uh, they're tapped out, so we could slam Mandrills. Do they have Natural Tron? We're going to hope not. Uh, do we want to play out one of these lands? Let's start with this. Looting Visions. We probably don't want the next looting. Am I bold enough to discard Tarmogoyf? I think I actually am. And the Flooded Strand? That's four cards in the bin. Then we play the island. We cast Visions. Let's go. Bolt and Delver. Let's top both of those. Mandrill's coming down. All right, so we, technically we did have a threat on two, they just interacted with it. Our threat is sticking on turn three. Are they, okay, they cycled Relic, that's good news for us. That is better news for us, That that's becoming worse news. What do we got in the hand? We found an expedition map, all right, Tron's coming. I think we're gonna loot here. Hoping to pitch an Ancient Grudge into the graveyard and then blow this up. We did not find Ancient Grudge. To be fair, we knew there was a Lightning Bolt coming. Uh, we could play out this land and then do that again. Discard both of these. No, then we're out of cards and we're just... Well, actually, that is what we're going for. So are we going to go Ancient Grudge or Bust? Probably not. I don't really like Ancient Grudge or Bust. Then again, chances are we're going to die soon. But they do have to crack this still, so they're not going to have that much mana. So then we could discard looting and bolt. This is the kind of time where bolt's bad. 
and then we discard looting or we discard land. We could discard the land, have looting in Delver. We play Delver and maybe we loot next turn. Let's get in for four. I don't know what we're doing right now. I'm just making plays. This deck is a lot harder to play with Faithless Looting, mostly because I've played it without Faithless Looting for actual years, and therefore I'm used to it and I know what I'm doing. Even when I'm kind of fumbling around, I have a good idea. In this case, I'm like, should I loot here? Should I not? What do I discard? Is this hand to keep? Misty Rainforest. Well, we can discard that, actually. Let's find a counterspell. Come on. Neither of those are counters. I'll take the Delver, though. That's better than nothing. In for five. We're going to keep hoping they have actual nothing. However, they have six cards, none of which were the Tron land that they needed. So, maybe they have six... Three Ancient Stirrings. Three Expedition Maps. They just top decked to Tron Land. Are we dead? Smells like we're dead. What do you got, opponent? Eight mana. Ugin? Rip us. Alright. I dare say we are kaput. Our board has been exiled. All right, and they have five cards in hand. What do we got? Ceremonious Rejection. Remember how we were using looting to dig? I guess we could have looted there, but that's pretty bad. Ogin's a slow clock. Maybe we find another Mandrill soon. Ogin's going to bolt our face. They have more mana. I can counter that. You know what? I don't care about showing them cards. If we lose this one, it's over. So we may as well. All right. Well, like I said, rip us. <laughs> I cannot help but laugh. That's hilarious. Thanks, deck. Thanks. That makes me actually feel a lot better about aggressively digging for counter spells that last couple of turns. Because you know what? If we found Deprive or Ceremonious Rejection when they played that Ugin, they would have taken four off Mandrills, at least two from the Delvers, quite possibly the full six. That can resolve, I don't care. We are very dead at this point, but you know what? We found our counter spells, so it's okay. We might even loot that Deprive away. That's one of the reasons we play looting, right? Get rid of bad cards. We're already dead. We may as well succeed in filtering through these counters. There's the ancient grudge we need to deal with that worm coil. Aha. Oh, we only have one red source. We can't grudge plus bolt. No. We actually need grudge plus bolt plus grudge here. So we need another red source. Oh, an assembly worker. Urza's factory. That is on point as far as flavor goes, but I don't think I've ever seen that out of Tron. Anyways, good games, opponent. We got kind of destroyed. I want to say that's not indicative of how the Tron matchup is going to go, but it might be. I don't actually know. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope to see you in the next one.